Leo, Leo, Leo. Hello, Leo. <laughs> Welcome to Divine Conversations. Welcome to the month of October, yeah? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Uh, this is going to be a general energy reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, this is a timeless reading, even though it is coming through in the month of October. It doesn't have to necessarily resonate for you at that moment. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. Um, also, we could be talking to a cross watcher, yeah? All right, Leo, let's get into this. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you, and then we'll see what's going on for you, what messages Spirit has for you at this time. What's going on for Leo? Okay, Leo, I just heard and felt love yourself fully. No matter what it costs. That's kind of giving me a five of swords energy. Okay, but let's see. What's going on for Leo at this time? Okay, there is definitely something about... Uh, something out here for some Leos that are needing to love themselves more, or maybe you're going through a period of recognizing and realizing how you may not have been loving yourself ideally, optimally. Um, you're going through a period where you're facing this within yourself, reconciling this with yourself for the greater good of all on behalf of your own betterment. And Leo, there's something about this in which your own betterment actually does benefit the people around you, those whom you serve, those whom you are connected to. For some of you here, this is a situation in which you are needing to work on loving yourself more or you're facing a situation in which you are needing to make a decision in terms of loving yourself more and or better. Again, regardless of what that actually costs, meaning regardless of how that may affect other people around you and for some of you here leo the feeling is that with you taking steps to love yourself more or love yourself better and or holding certain boundaries it actually is going to be triggering to other people it may come across as hurtful or painful for other people inconveniencing other people but there is a level of having enabled them to rely on you in unscrupulous ways or unhealthy ways or to get away with things to get away with things um, that they shouldn't be allowed to get away with or that you're recognizing and or realizing that you have been allowing and that has been cause uh, has been a direct result of um, a level of feeling, what's the word I'm looking for? Unworthy, um, lack of self-worth, worth, lack of self-confidence. And this is very interesting that is coming out for Leo because Leo energy is all about self-confidence, really. Self-belief, pride in one's self, taking care of one's self. So either this is for a Leo who is just now starting to connect with, associate with their Leo energy, or this is, has something to do with someone, or this is for someone who is connected to a Leo, so you might be a cross watcher, and your interaction with this Leo energy is kind of putting this lesson in your face. For some of you, this, uh, this Leo is needing to take pride in themselves, and them taking pride in themselves is going to have an adverse effect on you, but also I'm hearing you have been enabling them. So Leo, you may have been enabling this person to act in unscrupulous ways is what I'm hearing. Take that as it resonates. One card so far and one card only, and it's the Seven of Swords, 444 four, four on the counter. This is happening for a reason, Leo. Take pride in oneself, or instead of take, it just the phrase is pride in one's self. That's what we're talking about here. 
somebody has been getting away with something or you have been allowing people to or enabling others to get away with things that are of detriment to you that you would never allow yourself to get away with or try to go or get away with um, I, I, I'm hearing self-doubt, fear, pity what's going on for Leo? <laughs> the Knight of Wands ooh the Knight of Wands with the Seven of Swords is like a snake oil salesman, salesman type of energy. And then the Fool. I'm sorry. The Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I don't know if I said that correctly. Overall energy is the Chariot. Wow, Leo. All right. So, um, the, for some of you out here, Leo, there is a need to clean up your life somehow clean up this energy, this deceptive energy, this deceitful energy, getting away with something or someone getting away with something that you would not necessarily condone yourself. I wonder, I wonder if this is like a family member or something. This feels like someone that's very close to you. Prideful energy is what I just heard. This could be a connection with someone that you have a long history with. Um, Leo, you're a fixed sign, so you're very, so, so fixed signs have a tendency to be quite loyal especially for Leo, um, this, I, or at least for whomever this reading is for, this connection that you have with these people or this person who is acting in unscrupulous ways, um, you have a very deep connection with them, you have a lot of history with them, you, have, you, you, you hold a lot of pride in this energy or in this connection. It's weird though because somebody here is learning a lesson in having pride in themselves. And it's almost as if I hear someone saying to you, I hear this energy saying to you, you have so much pride in your connection with this person or your relationship with this per person or these people, but you won't hold that same level of pride for yourself. But see, here's the catch. Because holding that same level of pride for yourself would, have to, would, would cause you, would make you have to address what's really going on here. You have the Knight of Wands with the Seven of Swords. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Fool. So, so, all together, there is some sort of snake oil salesman energy around you or has been a part of your life thus far. This also could represent... Um, being enamored by or, or, or convinced to take a leap of faith or buy something or, or start a new program or jump into something by someone who is like I'm uh, someone who is kind of trying to deceive you. It, it, this feels like an energy of someone selling something to somebody else and pushing really hard to seal the deal right here, right now, like in this moment. No, not trying to let you go so that you have time to think about it because if you have time to think about it, then you may disappear and the sale may never happen. They, were, they are pushing, on this, on, pushing this on you right here, right now. Let's just do it. Let's just do it right now. And either this is something that someone is going through currently or this is a recurring theme or this is the general energy of this person or this situation or whatnot, whatever. This is very interesting, Leo. This is very, very interesting. Now, also, I'm reading this in that the Knight of Wands and the Fool could represent the energy of you taking pride in yourself and starting a new chapter, starting a new cycle, taking a leap of faith. I feel like this Knight of Wands energy could, could represent for some of you moving away or moving in a different direction from this seven of swords energy and this is this is also being represented as of the fool with a leap of faith in terms of you have never really done this before acted in this way before expressed yourself in this way before okay this is a new thing and this definitely does it 
involve taking pride in yourself, but it's not from a selfish point of view. It's, it's having enough pride to stand up for yourself and or do something that is within your best interest that may go against what you may have had or what you may have been doing or with somebody else, with someone that's associated with you, somebody that's connected to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be one person. It could be a group of people. It could just be your relationship with the greater collective as a whole. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be very specific. It could just be in terms of in the way that you interact with other people in general. Okay. Uh, overall energy um, is the chariot, which is speaking to a new alignment for you. This is getting control, taking the reins of your vehicle and purposefully and consciously driving yourself forward in a way that is best for you. I just heard unscrupulous activity again. What's going on, Leo? Let's check out the Seven of Swords. I wanna go clarify the Seven of Swords here. The Ace of Swords. So either you found out about something or you know the truth here. I feel like, Leo, underneath the surface, you know what has been going on all along. You've been aware of it. At the very least, you've had an inkling of, mm, someone's deceiving me here, or something's not right about this, but yet you chose to ignore it in the past, is what I'm feeling with this. And, and maybe for some of you, this you're at the point where you can't ignore it any longer. Maybe because you caught someone in the act. Maybe because someone got so comfortable in their deception of you, they got careless, or yeah, deception towards you. They got careless and they, and they slipped up and you caught them. Mm. Either way, you're aware of this now. Seven of Swords here. It's the Seven of Swords for Leo. Whoop. Two of Wands. This Two of Wands fell on the floor. You have the Ace of Swords so far and the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands fell on the floor, so okay. Um, that could just be because of the way that I was shuffling, but also I feel like it is, for some of you, a, a denial of choosing a plan of action, what it is you want to do. For some of you here, Leo, this is forcing you to make a decision. Like I said, for some of you, in terms of this deception here, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, something happened in which you just cannot deny it anymore and now you have to choose how to go. And for some of you, this is a family member and what I'm hearing and feeling is why, why would you even put me, like, why would you put me in this position? to have to make this kind of decision. I don't feel like, I feel like that's more of an internal thing, an, an, an emotional, it's a feeling. I don't necessarily feel like, Leo, you're coming at with someone saying that, but underneath the surface, you feel, it's almost, maybe you even feel betrayed or maybe this betrayal is somebody did something that has put you in a decision or put you in a position to have to make a decision that might I guess what I want to say, be harmful to them, be harmful to this relationship. But quite frankly, Leo, you're having to choose what's best for you. So this feels like a best friend or a lover or a family member that like betrayed you somehow. And now you're having to make a decision that's kind of like, mm, that's within your best interest and not necessarily in this person's best interest. And you don't want to have to do that. But see, they, they put you in this position position to have to choose or to have to act in this way. It's not like you chose to do this. Mm. Okay. Seven of Swords. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Damn. Yo, check it out, Leo. First of all, some of you may be providers in this situation. Um, damn, Leo. Some of you may be providers here. King of Pentacles. I'm also with this King of Pentacles energy here. I feel like you're very solid. Well, you're needing to be solid in yourself. This King of Pentacles energy feels very solitary. Okay, this is another fixed energy. 
but in technically this would represent if we're talking about the fixed energies we're, this would represent Taurus but there is this is a very independent energy a very standalone energy so either this is who you are as a person generally speaking or this is who you're needing to show up as in this situation Leo it's not about you and them or you and this person and you or you and these people in this situation Leo this is very much a standalone situation you have to decide what is best for yourself you cannot think about the best interests of this person or these people because they are the ones that put you in this position seemingly they are the ones that have put you in this position to have to make this decision to begin with so this is between you and yourself they're in the doghouse or they're left out in the cold or at least it's so it seems and this doesn't feel like it's a malicious thing again leo i don't feel like you are having you are um you are it you are wanting to hurt anyone i forget where i was going with that but what i'm also hearing is pride in oneself it may be that your pride is misplaced or has been misplaced like i said earlier for some for for whatever this situation is all of the pride that you held for this relationship that you put into this relationship now needs to be put toward yourself and quite frankly even though we're saying here that they've put you in a position to have to, to make you act in this way what's really happening here is the universe has orchestrated this for you to have to face this element for you to have to have pride in yourself instead of holding all of your pride out for others okay this is there's very much a deeper lesson here so it's not it's not really about blaming the other person they are just a player in this situation they are just playing a role leo it's not about them that's right it's not about them leo it's about you having pride for yourself and acting accordingly I'm getting sacrificial lamb type of energy in, in the grand scheme of things this individual that you are this best friend this it does feel like a best friend energy or this lover or this i don't know business partnership or this 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 family member it's almost it's not almost as if in the grand scheme of things if you really want to zoom out and get all woo woo about it this individual chose to play this role and and betray you in this way and or keep betraying you in this way until you got it until you started to learn the lesson and the lesson here is about having enough pride in yourself to hold a boundary or 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 do what's right for you instead of always doing what's right for someone else with this energy here you have clarifying the seven of swords you have the ace of swords the two of wands the king of pentacles but then also the tower and the emperor The tower and the emperor are this energy of um, great change. Great change. The emperor is um, an over is is the ultimate authority when it comes to his domain, his empire. Equal to the empress, who is the master of her own domain as well. But we're talking about this from a masculine point of view. The emperor and the king of pentacles this is a deciding factor i like to say the emperor is the ceo of the zodiac i'm sorry that's capricorn but the emperor is the ceo of his or her own life calls the shots makes the decisions and when healthy and balanced does so with the best interests of his empire and or domain in mind is the emperor is a very protective energy okay very protective but the emperor also knows how to de 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 protect oneself defend oneself and this emperor energy this the tower with the emperor is somebody here being decisive about a choice they have ha they are having to make because a because of a certain level of deception 
and it's and it's coming out as the tower and the emperor because this feels like some a choice that someone has never that someone is acting in a way that they have never acted with this individual or this situation ever before this is a big change overall energy is the hermit you're having to look within you're having to follow your own light your own guidance guidance in some cases you are having to stand alone stand with yourself stand as yourself on behalf of yourself and no one else letting your light shine through for the sake of yourself and yes for the sake of others but but sometimes leo we have to leave others to handle their own shit we can't clean up somebody's mess for them all the time sometimes some the other people have to clean well no the other people really do have to clean up their own shit but sometimes we can help them with that and sometimes we play no just can't and this is one of those times that you can't you've got to let them face the music for themselves this is a, a repeat offender in ways take it how it resonates knight of wands energy What's the Knight of Wands for Leo? So the Knight of Wands feels like a new level of inspiration. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit, Leo. The Knight, the Knight of Wands feels like a new level of inspiration. It feels like a new pathway you are, you are moving forward towards. It feels like a new way of, I, I, I'm hearing a new way of embodying your spirit, embodying your spiritual prowess. Um, the Knight of Wands feels like a new direction. It's not, well, and it's fairly mature because it's not the page, it's the Knight. So it feels, for some of you here, it feels like this new form of inspiration, this new way of uh, expressing yourself, this, this new pathway forward, this new, this new desire, this new, these new inspired feelings. They're not necessarily new. It's something that's been within you for some of you. It's something that's been within you for a while and it's been slowly progressing and getting stronger and more and more mature. And now you're at a point where you really have to hold up this energy. It's gotten mature enough where I guess some of you are starting to realize that there are people closest to you or that have been closest to you that are acting in ways, in unscrupulous ways that you don't and cannot stand for. It's like at this point, you can't let it slide anymore, Leo. Either because you've just matured enough in this sense of self, in this sense of self-pride and self-worth. Either you've matured enough or this person or these people have done enough to make it blatantly, clearly obvious to, what, to you what's really going on here. And at this point, you just can't let it slide any longer. Clarifying the Knight of Wands. You have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is all about self-worth, understanding your self-worth, knowing what it is that you bring to the table, also being a provider of sense. You have the King and the Queen of Pentacles here. For some of you, you have been a physical provider to other people or to this person in some way. The Queen of Pentacles is also about commitment, just like the King, but the Queen of Pentacles is about 100% happily, willingly, and lovingly coming to the table to help to provide, but will only continue doing so when, when all parties are providing something. They, and they don't have to provide, they don't have to be doing as much as this Queen of Pentacles, but they still have to be providing something. There has to be some level of reciprocity here, or else the Queen of Pentacles is not going to allow herself to continue being a part of the situation because she, is, she has pride. She has awareness of her self-worth and value. Okay? 
That's the point here. But then with that Queen of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Swords. This, is, this situation, Leo, is making you face the fact of how a certain situation that you've been providing to or been a provider in in some sort of way, whether it's monetarily or just in a loving, mature spouse Ah, but I'm also hearing codependent way. Yikes. You're facing the reality of this, how you may not have been standing in your integrity here, Queen of Pentacles. Instead, you've been standing as the Queen of Wands, who is a leader, yes, but is also a very fiery and passionate energy. And that has, and, and because of that, you've been carrying too much Ten of Wands. At this point, you want to be this leader you want to be this passionate energy that, that, that provides and sustains the fire and growth. But at this point, it's too much on your shoulders here. You're overburdened by this. Or for, for some of you, this Ten of Wands does represent the level of having done, too much has been done at this point. You're overburdened by the circumstances here that, that at this point, it's just too much. Someone or something has gone too far. Oof. So the Knight of Wands feels like this, this feels like it's a new way forward. It's a new direction. Overall energy is the Three of Wands. Where do we go from here? So this is why you're in this Knight of Wands energy of having to change your tune, of having to Having to move forward in this way, I guess, really is what that says. Given the circumstances, given what you have dealt with here, or given what has happened here, whatever that is for you, this is how we have to move forward, is what I'm getting, because of this. Okay, um, also, so the, the, you're having to move forward in this way because of what the Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles represents. Pride, self-sufficiency, but also self-worth and value. And part of this that's coming from the Queen of Pentacles is she knows her own worth and she also is aware of and or understands either the value and the worth of someone else or just, blatant, uh, just has an underlying understanding of the fact that everyone and everything has its own intrinsic value. And for some of you here, you are needing to stand in this Queen of Pentacles energy because you know full well the value of somebody else and you cannot allow them to be enabled in this way to not hold their own value and self-worth. Why? Because then what would that mean for you? You can't stand there in your, in, your, in your right mind, and in all honesty, Leo, you cannot stand there and preach self-worth and self-value and then let, let someone round, run around, excuse me, let someone run around and devalue themselves and say, oh, it's okay, baby, come sit at my table. No, you can't do that. That's hypocrisy. Queen of Pentacles does not stand for that. She will not stand for that because she knows just how worthy and capable someone else is or this other person is too. And she will do anything for you within her power, within her wheelhouse, to help you, to hold, to, to help hold you up. But if she's gonna help hold you up, you are going to have to try to stand up to begin with. She's not going to lift you up and hold you up there. No, you have to stand for yourself. And if you can't necessarily stand for yourself, she will help to prop you up. But she also knows that you can stand up, or at least you can fucking try. And that's where the problem comes in, Nine of Swords. And that's where this fiery energy of, this leader energy of, I can't stand for this is coming, for, coming from, Queen of Wands. That's why she has to stand in this form of expression, Queen of Wands, because something is too much, Ten of Wands. And with this Ten of Wands, Leo, I feel like someone has gone too far now. The Fool. Clarify the Fool for Leo. Standing on your own, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm good. 
I'm good here. Nine of Pentacles, I'm good on my own. I don't want to be alone, no, but I definitely can stand alone. And until you come correct, well then you can't come at all, actually. You ain't coming correct? There's no reciprocity here? That's fine. I'll go stand over, over here by myself and just keep on living my fabulous life. And you'll be left to your own devices. I mean, I can't really care about that, says Leo. Or at least Leo says this energy. And this is the lesson that some of you are, are dealing with right now, are facing right now. And yes, I know that comes across real cold. But you, still, but you know what? Burr, burr. You damn right I'm cold. Because I gave you what it is you were asking for and you couldn't even give me the decency and or the self-respect to reciprocate. And yet you still want me to stand here and provide to you? What do I look like, a piggy bank? Am I just a piggy bank to you? Oh, so that's what this is. Mm. There's that Five of Swords energy I was seeing in the beginning. We're clarifying the fool. So Leo is taking, a, or somebody here is taking a leap of faith in a new direction, jumping on out there on their own or starting a new cycle. Okay. Clarifying the, the Fool is the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Overall energy is the Six of Cups. Oh Lord, somebody, oh honey, somebody, somebody. Let me put you in on something here. A Leo's weakness is their prideful energy. And it potentially can be the pride that they have in their family, the people that are closest to them. And one of the easiest ways to really hurt a Leo is for them to have been betrayed by someone that they love, someone that they care for. And that seems to be what has happened here. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, Balance Between Give and Take. Somebody may have, and all, this person may have gaslit you in ways to make you, or to, to say things like, oh, it's all about money with you. What, uh, this is all about a transaction with you. But when really, it's about the balance between give and take. Regardless as to whether you are in, uh, 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 do, uh, regardless as to whether you are interacting with another human being or just the universe at large, there is always a balance between give and take. If you want to receive something, well, you're going to have to do something to receive that. So you're going to have to give of something, time, attention, energy, effort, money, uh, expertise, skill, blah, 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 what not, whatever. Like the universe is not in the, in the business of not giving you what you want or giving you what you ask for. But also the universe is not going to just hand it to you with you just sitting on your ass doing nothing. You have to actually get up and take some sort of action towards it. And ultimately the universe will help you in ushering it towards you, but you still have to do something. You still have to give something for it. It's not just, a, it's not about the money. It's about the balance between give and take. It's about reciprocity. And if somebody is gaslighting you into trying to get you to believe or trying to talk you off your high horse because, oh, it's all about money with you. That is a view into what their mind is about. Understand that. Somebody needed to hear that. So what do I do? Five of Swords. I walk away altogether. I put down my sword and I say, I am not fighting this with you anymore. I cannot associate with you in this anymore. I will go off on my own. I will stand in my corner with my pretty little self and be happy as a clam. Because I'm good on my own. I'm independent. 
overall energy here clarifying the fool which is a leap of faith is the six of cups and the six of swords to strength you are something is definitely being left in the past or situation and or circumstance is in the past now things have changed things are about to change things are going to change things are bound to change because someone is taking pride in themselves in oneself Whew. all right leo closing message closing message for leo page of pentacles a new start a new way forward might be shaky Mm, temperance is reversed. Oof. Wow. Temperance is reversed. The Two of Swords is reversed. Your, your closing message here, Leo, is that I really do feel like you're being forced into a new start. You're being forced into a new way of... What I'm hearing is a forced into a new way of expression and or a new way of being. And it's going to be shaky at first. But you're just you're just, just going to have to get your sea legs. That's kind of what I want to say. You're going to have to have the training wheels on for a little bit. Page of Pentacles. This is not necessarily what you are wanting to do. This is not something you... This is something you wish you didn't have to do. But this is all about taking pride in yourself. Instead of just holding that out for others. And again, this has got to a point where there can be no balance here or something has been imbalanced here and I feel like you've been trying and working to make it balanced to keep the balance but it is not for you to do ten of wands this is energy that is not necessarily yours to carry it's overburdening you it's not your responsibility and you can't deny that any longer so you are having to have a new start. You are having to express yourself differently. You are having to approach this person or this situation in a different way. Page of Pentacles. Temperance reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Overall energy is the hanged man. You literally have no choice, Leo. I mean, yes, obviously you have a choice. You could either keep doing it the same way you could or you could start this new expression, this new way ahead, this new path forward. You see it now. You're enlightened to it now. You can't go back. You can't unsee it. You can't undo it. You can't fall back asleep, I'm hearing. So, there's really one, there's really one way ahead, and that's taking pride in yourself. Greater pride, self-care. Leo is all about self-care. Primping, pampering, luxuriating, right? <laughs> okay, Leo, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check, your information, check the information in the description box below where I list my email address and the readings that I offer. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>